Forget low-fat diets, especially if you're in your teens or early 20s and are at risk for mental illness. Healthy fats like fish oils have been shown to prevent or lessen early signs of schizophrenia in young people, such as minor delusions or paranoid thoughts. Research has shown that those with schizophrenia have lower blood levels of fatty acids, suggesting that their brains are deficient in these essential fats. It's important to start taking fish oils as a youth because it doesn't have the same impact on adults with schizophrenia. Fish oils are high in omega-3 fatty acids, which include EPA, which dampens inflammation, and DHA, which supports brain function. Olives, nuts, seeds, and avocados are other healthy fats that also protect neurons and communication in the brain. Did you know your brain is made of mostly fat? Especially in the cell membranes where the vital communication happens in the brain. So think of it this way. The fats you eat determine how well your brain performs. There are some nasty fats that do the opposite in the brain. They're called trans fats or hydrogenated oils. So make sure you read your labels. There was an interesting study where researchers followed 81 young people who were ages 13 to 25 and also were experiencing signs of schizophrenia. About half were given fish oil daily and the others were given a placebo. They looked at the results a year later and found that the group taking fish oil were less likely to develop psychosis. Then seven years later, 71 of the subjects showed that only 10% of the group taking the fish oil went on to develop schizophrenia compared to 40% of the group given the placebo. I'm excited for the future and more studies to be done in this area. When it comes to schizophrenia, there are a couple of other factors that can play a role in its prevention. One is gluten, which is the protein in wheat. Quite a bit of research has found a higher rate of sensitivity to gluten among those with schizophrenia. Casein, which is the protein in dairy, has also been linked to schizophrenia. In fact, some research has shown that improvements in symptoms in early onset schizophrenia when the subjects ate gluten-free and dairy-free, then adding gluten back to the diet made their symptoms worse again. Schizophrenia is certainly a complicated disease with no real easy answers. If you are a youth struggling with this, Knowing that there are some preventative measures that you can take to help lessen the onset and severity of this disease can certainly give you a lot of hope. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you've learned some things about your health. If you'd like to know more, please go to my website, drsalea.com, where you can schedule for a free 15-minute consultation or become a new patient. We'll look into your issues with lab work to get to the root cause of your problems. If you'd like to see more videos about your health, please subscribe below.